Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to start celebrating 4th of July by making a 4th of July pie. So stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. Let's talk about what you're going to need, all the ingredients for this delicious 4th of July pie. It's a recipe I came up with, it's semi-homemade, it's super easy, anyone can make this. So basically you get a nine inch um, already made uh, pie crust, and this is a graham cracker crust, and you're gonna need one block of, or one eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese, original. You're gonna need one cup of blueberries, one cup of strawberries. You're also going to need a half a cup of pecan chips, and I got this at Target, so make sure you get your pecan chips. You're gonna need one teaspoon of pure lemon extract, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and probably about a teaspoon or so of the lemon zest. And you're also gonna need heavy whipping cream, one cup of heavy whipping cream. So let's start making our delicious pie. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make um, the whipped cream and I'm making my own whipped cream here using heavy whipping cream. We're going to use one cup of heavy, heavy whipping cream and I'm going to add to that one teaspoon of sugar. And then I'm also going to add just a little drop of pure lemon extract. Just a little drop, because the lemon is very strong, the lemon extract. And we're gonna start whipping that up. Make sure it's on high. Let's take a look at our whipped cream. You can see that it's starting to have soft peaks and that's what you want. So our whipped cream is done for now. This bowl, I'm gonna put my cream cheese in. Now make sure your cream cheese is uh, kind of at room temperature. Um, with our strawberries and our blueberries, I'm gonna add some sugar to the top of both. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cover them with the plate and I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and let them stay in there for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so while the strawberries and the blueberries are in the refrigerator with the sugar on it, like I said, we're gonna leave that in there for around 20 minutes. I'm gonna start working on my cream cheese. And so I'm gonna get my lemon here and I'm going to get the zest of this lemon, probably about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. I don't know, I just love lemon during the summer months and late spring, summer months, lemon is my favorite. Okay, that looks about good. Maybe a little bit more, that's good. All right, so I got my lemon zest. I'm gonna add my lemon zest to the cream cheese. I'm also going to use about one, one uh, tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just gonna put in the same little thing here. That is approximately one tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm gonna start to mix that up in this bowl. One tablespoon of sugar to that cream cheese. I'm just 
We're mixing that cream cheese up nicely, blending all those lemon flavors in with it and the sugar. Okay, my rubber spoon. Scrape down the sides a bit. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna fold in the whipped cream into the cream cheese mixture, okay? So get it, plop it in there and just fold it, fold it in. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna get my pecan chips. Remember, you need about a half a cup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some to the bottom of this graham cracker crust. I'm gonna put the rest in. We're just gonna mix that in. Add another tablespoon of the sugar. Okay, that looks good. Give it a taste. Mm. Yep. Not too sweet. If you wanted yours a little bit sweeter, you could add another tablespoon of sugar, but I don't want to make mine too sweet. I think that's good. Because don't forget the strawberries and the blueberries had sugar on it. So that looks good. As we're going to add the cream cheese, whipped cream cheese uh, filling to the pie crust. Just lay it on top. Gonna spread that. Try your best not to move it around too much because you don't wanna mess up your pie crust and you don't wanna mess up the base that has those nuts. So just gently spread it. See how quickly this is going? All right, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for the remaining time of the strawberries and the blueberries. Remember the strawberries and blueberries need to be in the refrigerator for around 20 minutes or so. Then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna decorate it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got one more thing to do, which is we're gonna make a whipped cream star. I have this uh, star cut out that we're gonna be using. I'm only gonna use one third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. And we're going to add some sugar to that and a lemon extract. So I'm gonna use half a tablespoon of sugar and I'm gonna use one fourth of a teaspoon of the lemon extract again. We're gonna whip that up. So we are going to use that for our little star on our pie. So let's start decorating it. Okay, so we have our pie here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna get the blueberries. And I'm just gonna put the blueberries kinda of like in this area, the top part. So I'm gonna try to do some stripes with the strawberries. And 
Next, I'm going to use our strawberries. I'm just going to use my fingers for this. Always make sure that your hands are clean. And let's see, I want to have this one going like that. You want to always try to get the nice ones. that there's different sizes that comes in handy. get my star there using a spatula. Make sure that this whipped cream is very cold. You could even put it in the freezer for just a bit. I probably should have left mine in a little bit longer, but it's pretty good. And like I said, this is just a cute little pie dessert for a pool party. It's easy to make. This is probably the most tedious part, and it's not, it's not that bad either. Okay, so you got that. Let's remove the star. Ah, look at that. Ho, ho, ho. And then I got some white shimmering sugar. I should kind of put that on top of a, the star a little bit. Oh, I just love how that looks. Look at that, how cute. Mmm, what cream have I got? So here it is, our cute little dessert. I think it's kind of cute and it's a little pie and it tastes so good. So let's take a bite, see what it tastes like. Okay, so we're gonna uh, give it a try and um, make sure that you refrigerate it first for at least 30 minutes before you start cutting your slices. But um, I can't wait. <laughs> chips in there, the lemon flavor. Mm. For me, I think it's just sweet enough. If you wanted yours a little bit sweeter, you could add a little bit more sugar, but I think it's perfect. Because don't forget the fruit had sugar on it. Mm. Mm. Very good. You gotta try it. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends. Happy Healthy Living. Bye-bye.